Hey you guys, it's EG, and in this video we're going to be finding out which Linux desktop environment is better if you plan to be playing a lot of games on Linux. We're going to be looking at a variety of games played on the GNOME desktop and the KDE Plasma desktop on Debian Bookworm, which is the current code name for Debian testing. The GNOME desktop is version 42 and is running Wayland, whereas the KDE Plasma desktop is Plasma version 5.23.5 and is using X11. I think that this is going to be a pretty interesting test because both desktops are fairly popular but are known to be heavyweight desktops in terms of resource usage and features, and the different window managers should make it that much more interesting. All of the games will be played on my trusty old Asus PB50 that I've been using as my Linux distro test machine. It's got that older gen AMD Ryzen 7 3750H with Radeon Vega 10 graphics. Some of these games have built-in benchmarks, but over the years I've found that tools like Mango HUD are generally better at benchmarking real-world performance rather than dedicated benchmarks, so that's what we're going to be using. A vanilla GNOME install on Debian Bookworm uses about 1.2GB of memory, which is slightly less than what KDE uses, which is a hair over 1.3. Now something I found really interesting was that the system temperatures were 1 degree higher on KDE at 38 degrees Celsius than GNOME at 37 degrees. And now that we got all that out of the way, let's take a look at some games, starting with Broforce. Broforce is a classic, and if you don't already own it, or at least have played it, you've got to check it out. It makes a good benchmark or sanity test because it's very CPU heavy and there's usually tons of stuff flying all over the screen all at once. I like to think that the frame rate between the two desktops are the same here, but I did feel like GNOME was generally smoother, especially when the screen scrolls. That could just be me though. Overwatch is a non-Linux, non-Steam game that has run pretty great on Linux for a long time thanks to DXVK. It's also probably my most played game at the moment. Starting with GNOME, when I first started playing, the mouse movement was really choppy in the spawn area. Now for a hero like Xan, it's doable, but for anyone else, it's not acceptable. It magically smoothed out once the match started, and with the default graphics set, the texture resolutions are about half, and the game ran great. Towards the end of the match, I set the texture resolution to 100%, and honestly, it's not bad at about 45 frames a second, but it's also not acceptable for such a fast-paced game. KDE, on the other hand, something went terribly wrong because not only did the mouse input feel off, but the frame rate was really inconsistent. With the default texture resolution set at 50%, it was already struggling to maintain 60 frames a second, but when I jacked it up to 100%, yeah, it became completely unplayable. Not sure what the issue is with Overwatch, but on No Man's Sky, KDE did really well. It actually even pulled a higher minimum frame rate than GNOME. There's a lot of variation in No Man's Sky, but I was surprised to see that the frame rates here were actually pretty stable throughout. No Man's Sky is not a native Linux game. It's a Windows game, but it uses Vulkan, so it's pretty much always run well on Linux. Now, while I was playing No Man's Sky, I decided to pull up glances to get a quick look at the system and check the temperatures. Stats-wise, KDE actually crushed GNOME here, pulling lower GPU temps, lower average CPU, and less memory used while playing the game. It's really interesting to see that this doesn't exactly translate into FPS games. Next, let's have a look at Hitman, which is an older game, but it is a native OpenGL Linux port from Feral Interactive back in the day. Now if you look at the side-by-side, -side, I feel like KDE always seems to be just a little bit smoother than GNOME, holding on to that one FPS difference. Now a lot of times it's the FPS jitter that makes a game feel like it's running poorly even if it gets good frame rates in general. For whatever reason, KDE was just better here. And it's not that GNOME was bad by any means, it just didn't feel quite as smooth as KDE. And the final game with benchmarks that I want to show you is Grand Theft Auto Online. My session with KDE was so freaking weird. As soon as I got in, there was like a rando that just came over to my car and got in. And then we were followed by a, like an invisible modder that kept spawning cars all over the place. And they eventually disabled our car and the cops got us. It was really strange, but KDE never let me down. I got over 30 frames a second the entire time. Although GNOME was technically the winner here because it brought back better frame rates in the benchmark all around. There's nothing really noteworthy on either of them. They both played Grand Theft Auto Online just fine. 
no hitching, no glitching. It was all pretty much what you would expect. And as we wind the benchmarks down, I'll put up War Thunder here in the background. I didn't include it in the benchmark because the game actually put KDE on a higher graphics preset than GNOME for some reason, but I didn't realize that after I gathered data so the benchmarks were off. I think it's pretty interesting that it seemed like KDE bested GNOME in situations where the CPU was the most important. Most of the games here utilized the GPU to 100%, which is great. But in places where the CPU was needed, it felt like KDE was maybe a little bit smoother in every game except for Broforce. Overwatch is another notable exception here, and I don't really know why it ran so poorly on KDE. Differences this big feel a bit more like driver issues than anything else. The Radeon Vega graphics chip in this Ryzen 7 has about a gig of memory allocated to it, and it's using the AMD GPU open source driver, so this is totally just out of the box, install Debian and play performance. The funnest thing about Linux to me is the configuration of it, being able to tweak and tune your system to your liking. So there's lots more headroom here for good frame rates than what we're seeing. I think Debian testing is a good base because it gets regular updates, including the latest upstream driver updates. You don't have to wait for point releases. They just kind of happen. So you always know your system is running the latest and greatest stuff. Out of the two desktops here, if I were focused on gaming performance, I would probably go for KDE because the baseline was good and there's a lot you can do to the Plasma desktop in the way of performance versus GNOME. On the flip side, the GNOME shell here says 42 beta, so maybe there's some less than stable stuff in the repos here too. Either way, I would expect comparable performance on other distros, especially rolling distros with GNOME or KDE. Now that's not to say that static or point release distros are somehow slower, it's just that rolling distros are probably a bit better in that regard. At any rate, that's going to wrap this one up. I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I appreciate all your support, and thanks for watching.